Well, good day to you. Welcome to another episode of Gadget Review. We have the brand new BMW 4 Series, and we're going to tell you more about it right now. No, so here we are, we're inside the brand new BMW 4 Series. This is a 435. So it's the inline six, it's the N55 engine, the same one found in the previous iteration of the, what is 335. 300 horsepower, 300 pound-feet of torque. So this is a, actually like the production model. This is the model I think they toured around. So there's not a ton of stuff. So surprisingly, it does not have a rear view camera and it doesn't have GPS and it doesn't have the connected BMW apps. It does, however, have the M package, which is largely aesthetic. With that, you get 20 inch rims, M badging, and more aggressive body panels, right? It's not like, it's not too hard, but it's not like really soft, you know? So you still kind of feel the road, but it's not, it's not like R8 hard, where it's just like set springs. So you've got the driver select mode, so you can go sport, gets a little bit more aggressive, tightens the dampers or tightens the springs through dampers, and the accelerator becomes a little bit more sensitive. All right, well, let's take a look at the exterior of the 435. For starters, 20 inch rims, M package, blue brakes, Oh, don't forget the uh, side vents, which apparently are functional. Dual exhaust, which is always representative of the 35, so in the 335 dual exhaust, 435, same thing. According to BMW, it has the lowest center of gravity of any of their cars. You've got the uh, wider air intakes, bigger mouth, and then as we saw in the 335, you've got the kidney grill that kisses the lights but this is part of the M Sport package too. It's also available in the predecessor, but it gives the car a lower slung look. There's of course, keyless entry, uh, which I actually, thinking about it more and thinking about all the cars I've had, probably one of the most sensitive, right? Don't have to like do a lot, no pulling, no touching. Just grab it, unlocks. Close it, touch your finger, locks. Oh, 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 oh. There's a four here, it's a four. So that's it, that's the exterior of the 435 with the M package, mind you. Uh, it's a pretty good looking car. And it's grown on me in the four days that I've had it. Hold the mic. This is an old feature, but it's always like, I wanna be like, thank you, hey, thank you for the seatbelt. Uh, in here you've got your uh, aux and USB in, although the USB in is purely for power since it doesn't work with the system, it doesn't have the connected app stuff. Oh, and this is, I guess, default. The side mirrors fold in with this metallic finish. I'm still not a fan, but it's a little bit more subtle in here. And then they've got the blue trim, which I would assume is, if you have a red car, it would extend to the inside, but uh, Again, I don't know that for sure. Maybe the better question is, is it worth the money? And the resounding complaint or comment will be, why is it so expensive? Why is it that much more expensive than the 3 Series? I'll tell you why. Because it looks a hell of a lot better. And it arguably, although I haven't driven the 3 Series that much, drives a lot better. But I will tell you, compared to the 335, what, we had the X-Drive? Four door. This car is more supple. The chassis settings are more varied. The exterior changes that they made to this car over the last year, the 335, uh, I think are, I wouldn't go as far as to say they're vast improvements, but they're nice subtle tweaks that add like another level of opulence and sportiness. I know that sounds kind of cliche and everything, but honestly, it just looks, I mean, it's more in tune with the time more in tune with 2014, but it just, it, it better represents perhaps the amount of money you pay. I'm Kristen Costa for Gadsview. Thank you for watching. Have an excellent day.